Mikel Bridges, you know he's on the list. And of course, we got to talk about him. So Mikel for me, and every single person watching this stream who is a fan of this channel, you guys know, Mikel Bridges is my guy. The number one pick for you to go out if you're the Knicks to get him on this team because that makes you a championship contender. A lot of people don't think that. A lot of people don't believe that. And maybe it's because you're not hearing my scenario of it. The only way the Knicks are a championship contender with Mikel Bridges on this team is if they get Mikel Bridges without interfering with the core, without breaking them up. That means you keep OG, you keep Julius, you keep Jalen, you keep Dante, you keep Hart, you keep Isaiah Hartenstein. If you can keep all of those players and get Mikel Bridges, by the way, it's possible. It is absolutely possible, by the way. But if they can do that and swing that trade, that team, once it's all said and done, is an NBA Finals contender each and every year. That's not even a joke. On paper, you can see that. Jalen, OG, Julius Randle, Mikel Bridges, and iHeart as your starting five. And if Thibs runs an eight-man rotation, Deuce, Dante, and Hart. What? If it's nine-man, Mitchell Robinson off the bench. What? If it's not Mitchell Robinson, they draft a rookie, and they play that rookie off the bench. Oh. Oh, it is possible. That's right. It's possible to get what you want without having to destroy everything. And that's why, for me, Mikel Bridges is the target. There is nobody else. There can't be anybody else. He is the guy. He is the number one guy to target because Mikel Bridges fits everything we're trying to do. Who's a high-level defender that's a star? Um, Mikel. Who doesn't make superstar money right now? Um, Mikel. Who can score when you need him to? It's a hot, tough question. Oh, Mikel. Mikel, Mikel, Mikel. So Mikel is the perfect trade fit right now for this team. But see, here's the thing. I want Mikel, right? But I want him at the right cost. If we're going to give up the farm to get Mikel Bridges, I'm out because I'm not going to do that because it doesn't make sense. And if it doesn't make sense, why am I going to do that? And that brings us to the most important part of the stream right now. Going into something that really, honestly, is going to bother you. You want to know why? It bothered me. We're going to talk about Mikel Bridges, but we're going to talk about one of those Bleacher Report articles that gets my blood boiling. So shout out to Bleacher Report. Every NBA team's dream trade target. Nothing out of the ordinary over here, right? They named Mikel Bridges as that player. Nothing out of the ordinary over here, right? Right? And then they say this. This is Mikel Bridges' third appearance on this list and the location he'd likely prefer to end up most on with the New York Knicks, obviously. The Knicks have made their type known. Players like OG Ananobi and Josh Hart are premier defenders with incredible basketball IQ who never take plays off. The same can be said about Bridges. Everything okay right now, right? No issues. We're all on the same page. Here's where everything goes left. A trade based around Bridges and Julius Randle would make sense as the Nets would want win-now pieces in return. By the way, that makes no sense. None. Zero. Because the Nets owner just came out and said, I don't want to win now. I want to build a contender for the future. So already we're onto a wrong foot. We're on to the wrong steps already. We're falling off the cliff already as we go. But it doesn't matter. As we're falling off the cliff, he's still continuing to write. And this is his justification for wanting to make this trade surrounded around Mikel and Julius Randle. My goodness. A starting five of Brunson, Dante DiVincenzo, Bridges, Ananobi, I, excuse me, I Hart and Mitchell Robinson with Hart as the sixth man might be the toughest most physical in the league. Yeah, 
but so would Julius Randle. And if I changed that a little bit and I switched it to Jalen Brunson, Mikel Bridges, OG Ananobi, Julius Randle, and iHeart, that sounds even scarier. That sounds like a team that is running through the entire league. So if that's what we're talking about here, then what are you talking about? Why would you even create an article like this that has the, the Knicks trading away Julius Randle for Mikel Bridges? It just doesn't make sense. Who's the better player? Is it not Randle? So why are we giving him up? Why would we be giving up Julius Randle to get Mikel Bridges? That doesn't make the Knicks better, in my opinion. It makes us worse. It does. You're trying to hope and pray that when Mikel gets here, he might be able to fill the role of Julius Randle. He can't. He, not, not many players around the league can do that. You're going to be asking so much of him, and he can't already show up with Brooklyn. If he can't show up with Brooklyn, what makes you think he's going to be able to be the number two right behind Jalen Brunson? That doesn't make sense. Villanova connections don't make up for everything. That is a crazy trade scenario. You want the Knicks to give up Julius Randle for Mikel Bridges because it's a win now move and the Nets don't even want to win now. I get Bleacher Report wanting to create content, wanting to create controversy because clearly controversy sells. But in my opinion, for me, this was nasty work. Nasty work. Because they, they probably hear a lot of the things that are going on around social media, around all these other platforms. And they know the Knicks want Mikel Bridges. But at what cost? If it's at Randall's cost, do you still want Mikel Bridges? Because for me, and I think I speak for a lot of Knicks fans out there, the answer to that is no. Mikel is either added to this team as a piece to help what we're trying to build, or Mikel is gone. We're not even considering him. Because if it's Randall for Mikel, then I don't want Mikel then. There's no, need, there's no reason to talk about it. We need to get Mikel added, not break up the core to add Mikel. It doesn't make sense. Bleacher Report with one of the most outrageous trades I've ever seen in my entire life, reading trades about Mikel Bridges here. For a Julius Randall? And I'm sure that trade has picks in it. I'm sure that trade has the Knicks giving up picks for it. Imagine that. Imagine giving up a three-time All-Star for a player that's a better defender than he is an offensive player and giving up picks in the process. It's like the Laurie Markkinen video I did a couple of days ago. You guys remember that, right? Laurie Markkinen. Oh, yeah, we'll get him. Oh, yeah, the cost to get him? Julius Randle and five to six first round picks. What? But you guys tell me, what did you think about that atrocious trade proposal by Bleacher Report suggesting that the Knicks should center a trade package around Julius Randle to get Mikel Bridges? Let me know in the comments, guys, because right now it's just crazy. If you enjoy these clips from the live show, be sure to subscribe to the channel and have notifications turned on so you don't miss any new episodes or when we go live. Thanks for watching, Nick fans. And until next time, peace.